On June 17, 2015, I woke up and felt prickles in my feet. Walking to school was hard and my mom carried me back. When I got home, I was so tired that I wanted to nap. My mom took me into the emergency. I got lots of tests and needles. The machine helped me breathe because I couldn't move my body. I had Guillain-Barre syndrome. Things changed forever for me, my mom, my dad, and my brother. Before I got sick, I loved to sing, swim, dance, color, and dress up pretty in my clothes. I can still do this, but it just looks different. I'm learning to use my hands, and I'm really trying hard to run again. I still feel pretty even with my scars. I feel upset that I missed the end of kindergarten. I wish this never happened to me. I know I'm unique, and I'm so happy that I can move my feet, and I'm working on my toes. My goal is to go to school like my friends, to not wear AFOs or hand sprints, to be healed, and to be kind to others. October 17th, 2014, I became ill. What I thought was the flu ended up being a spinal infection, and within days I was paralyzed from the shoulders down. It seemed in an instant my life changed. I went from planning my fun-filled retirement of travel and relaxation to the fight of my life. Two months later, I could feed myself with the help of an aid to hold the utensil and sometimes wiggle my right toe. I felt worthless. Then I was transferred to the Glen Rose. If it weren't for the teachings, support, and encouragement of all the nursing staff, I would have on many occasions just stayed in my room and felt sorry for myself. If not for the unlimited love and support of my wonderful husband, kids, grandkids, who never let a day go by without being there for me, it would have been easy to give up. I've had many mountains to climb and I couldn't have done it alone. Thank you to all the people who helped push me over the top when it would have been much easier just to let me roll back down. I am known among my athletic friends as the Iron Lady, but unkind words, early discharge from another hospital, and complications following knee surgery reduced me to uncontrollable tears. As a single 85-year-old woman with no relatives, I was suffering unbearable pain. Medication side effects caused severe constipation, leaving me lonely and frustrated, often screaming and crying with uncontrolled pain. When I arrived at the Glen Rose, I didn't care about my life and felt I would be better off out of my misery. When, to my pleasant surprise, I found myself being examined as a whole person, mentally and physically. It was refreshing for me to discover that my experience of the Glen Rose would be different and that I would find patient, caring people from the janitors to those who were responsible for my treatment. I will always be grateful to the Glen Rose for the rehabilitation that restored me to my status as the Iron Lady.